Hey guys, it's down here from Penguin United. I want to talk to you guys about the updating your Eagle Eyes firmware from 1.0 or 2.0 to our new 3.0 firmware. For those of you familiar with our previous firmwares, you should already know that you cannot update your Eagle Eyes firmware on a 64-bit computer. This has, been, this has caused problems for users without access to a 32-bit computer who need to update their Eagle Eyes firmware. So we've been working on a 64-bit updater. The only problem is that we realized that the only way to fix this problem would be to actually change the firmware itself to be updatable on a 64-bit computer. So our latest firmware 3.0 now has the ability to be updated for future firmwares on a 64-bit computer. But the problem is that in order to apply the fix, you still need to do the initial update from 2.0 to 3.0 on a 32-bit computer to have the 64-bit fix. It just requires that you have access to a 32-bit computer for about two to three minutes one time for this one update. Uh, we suggest that you either borrow or use a friend or family member or work computer that is 32-bit for this one-time update. Uh, if you don't have access to a 32-bit computer, you can create a 32-bit computer on a 64-bit machine with, the, with a virtual machine uh, using software like VMware Player, uh, which is something that we're going to walk you through in this video. So there are a couple things you're going to need in order to create a 32-bit virtual machine on a 64-bit computer or Mac. Uh, you're going to need a copy of, w of WMWare Player, which you can download for free, and either a 32-bit Windows operating system installation disk with a CD key, or a legal copy of Windows 7 slash Vista Professional or, or, or Ultimate. This video will focus on how to create a virtual machine with a 32-bit installation disk. But for those with a copy of Windows 7 or Vista, a professional slash ultimate, check the bottom of this video for a link to a written walkthrough, which is very well done. So the first step in setting up a 32-bit virtual machine on your 64-bit computer is you're going to need to download the necessary software. So for this, we're going to be using VMware Player. It's a free uh, program that's very good. So in order to download it, we're going to want to open up our browser and then in Google, search VMware Player Download. And then it should be like the second one, download VMware Player free VMware virtualization. Click on it. It's a free download, but you're, you are going to have to register. It's a, really quick, it's a really quick thing to do. Since I've already registered, I can just continue through here. Okay, And then it's going to be the first one. VMware Player 4.0 for 32-bit and 64-bit Windows. You're going to want to download it. And then once the XC is done downloading, run it, and it's going to open up a installation wizard. Just accept everything. And uh, once you're done installing it, it's going to prompt you to restart your computer. You're going to want to accept this and restart your computer. Once you've restarted your computer, uh, you're going to want to put in your 32-bit installation disk and be sure not to actually start installing it. I know sometimes you put a disk into your computer, like it, like it automatically runs it. Make sure that if it asks you to cancel it, or if it actually does, like auto run it, like to close out. Okay. So once you have that inside your computer, you're gonna want to open up VMware Player. Okay. And then once it's properly set up, I mean, once it's finished opening, you're gonna want to click on the Create a Virtual Machine button at the very top right here. And then if your installation disk is already in, it should show it as it has. And then you're going to want to click Next. And then you're going to want to type in your CD key. Uh, for privacy's sake, this part is going to be blocked out. Don't want you guys having a free product key. Okay. And then you're going to want to name it whatever you like. I'm just going to name it the same thing as my computer. And click Next. And then you're going to want to create a name for the actual virtual machine. As, as you can see, I have a couple tabs open. So like this program is pretty nice because you could have a bunch of different like, virtual machine settings set up that you can just like sort of like switch around. So for this example, we're just going to name it example one, but you can really name it like whatever you like. And then click next. And then like the minimum for Windows 7 is 60 gigs. Uh, I know for XP it's 40. I wouldn't suggest touching this, but I would suggest changing this to store virtual disk as a single file. Click on that, and then you're going to want to click next, and then it's going to have all the information. 
and then you're going to want to click finish and then it's going to actually start setting up like your virtual machine uh, and it's going to take about 20 to 30 minutes because it's setting up a new computer and a new like operating system so expect it to take as long as it would to put on like Windows 7 on like a new computer so about 20 minutes and once your virtual machine is properly set up it should look exactly like this as you can see now I have a 32-bit Windows 7 virtual machine running on my 64-bit computer so once you have this set up then the next step would be to open up your Internet Explorer um, plug in your Eagle Eye my Eagle Eye is already plugged in and recognized and then you're going to want to go to our website and then you're going to want to go to our support page and follow all the instructions for updating your Eagle Eye's firmware to 3.0 okay and that concludes this video um, if you guys have any questions or comments be sure be sure to leave a question in the comment section uh, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for future videos